Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save your life. Hey everyone, um, on today's video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flying an aeroplane. Yeah, I'm down here uh, just outside Toronto International Airport and I'm going to be flying a Boeing 737N generation aircraft. Not literally a real aircraft. I'm actually going to be taking a simulator ride. Uh, we booked in for an hour, and this simulator is just over here at Threshold Aviation, and I'm really looking forward to this. So come, join me. Let's go and fly an aeroplane. The Boeing 737 first went into service back in 1968. The Boeing 737 Next Generation, also known as the 737NG, uh, which comprises of the 600, 700, 800 and 900 series, was introduced uh, back in 1993, which then replaced the 300, 400 and 500 series. The Boeing 737 was the highest selling commercial jet airliner. Airlines in Canada operating the 737 include WestJet, Sunwing and Air Transat. I myself have signed the flight deck of uh, many aircraft over the years, especially back in the late 1990s and the early 2000s, uh, flying on such flights as the 757, the L-1011, the A310, and finally the A330. That was until 9-11 happened, and that was put to a stop. So I'm happy to get back in the flight deck. Step inside and look at this. This is the flight simulator. It is designed to simulate the Boeing 737-800 in virtually all aspects. The flight simulator itself is actually made from the cockpit of a real Boeing 737 aircraft. So it's very, very realistic in detail in every single way because it's a real aeroplane. Right, here we go. Wow. Twice. I've never done it before, so this is all new to me. Okay. You don't mind if I video a little bit of this? No, at all? All right, because we're going to try and make a video of this. This is going to be cool. So, so um, I'm just going to quickly walk you through the... And your name is? I'm Jonathan, by the way. Jonathan, okay. Jonathan. Drew and uh, Nigel. First officer Nigel for today. And Nigel. <laughs> Captain <So>. Kern. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that one. Aside from that, throttles, these are your gas pedals, technically. You push it forward, the plane will speed up. Pull it backwards, the plane will slow down. Oh, now this feels good. <laughs> All right, today I'm uh, first officer on this aircraft, uh, and uh, <laughs> he's taking me up in the plane, so let's go. Oh, that feels yeah. weird. Don't worry, I'll save your life. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Attitude plus power equals speed. Get down. That question is that my runway to the left? So is that like right, 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 right there? Oh, is that one? Yeah. I don't see a runway there though. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I see, I see the line now, it's coming to view. What airport are we coming into? Uh, YVR, Vancouver. A white knuckle ride. Here we go. Oh, actually, so far, so good. That was, I actually like that. Oh, 
we're just coming into uh, Las Vegas at night. Flat for 30. Set. Another good landing this time from Drew. Not quite as good as mine. I got you here on time. <laughs> oh, I forgot my wallet. All right, I'm going now. I'm going to attempt to take off from Las Vegas. Uh, so let's see how we get on. Drew's just lining me up on the runway. Take off from Las Vegas at night by Captain Nigel. Oh my god, it really is. I got the nose wheel. All right. Okay, steer with your feet, it's yours. 80, 90. 120, 140, rotate. Gear up. All right, there you have it. That was um, me flying an airplane, a Boeing 737 uh, Next Generation. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that, and I recommend it for anyone who likes aviation or even or is thinking of getting into flying. It's a uh, it's a really, really good experience. Um, it was as good as I thought it would be, actually. So that's one good thing. So thanks very much, Drew, for bringing me along for this today and inviting me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I do love aeroplanes. Uh, everyone knows that. I do like flying, so it's a good thing. Um, I'll put links below the video underneath, uh, which will tell you the name of the location of the place and how much it'll cost and things like that. Uh, to give you a rough idea, it's about $129 Canadian for one hour in the simulator. Up to four people can go. Uh, but it's recommended, you know what, I recommend just two of you go uh, because there's a lot of things you can do which just waste time, like moving seats. Uh, we skipped a lot of the things like the engine startup and things like that and we just went certain to certain scenarios like landing, take off and flying around so we got a lot more out of it. But if you start going the whole thing, it, it could take up a lot of time. So you want to cut a few things out. So if you ever go, just mention, just scrap that and just go straight into the landing and flying. Uh, the assistant who was showing us around, uh, the guy behind us, he was really... Really, really good he set things up for us uh, helped us with a lot of things it made it a lot easier and overall I was very very impressed with my landing in Vancouver so very impressed about that <laughs> so that is it for another Nigel's cheap vlogs if you like this video I kindly ask that you subscribe to the channel if you have not done already and hit that like button thanks very much I'll be uh, back very shortly with some uh, more Nigel's cheap vlogs oh that feels weird <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save your life.